Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. I just want to thank you guys so much for your guys' support in this whole build process. This thing has been very, very stressful. Not only that, it's also been very, very expensive. So I just got done washing the car and check this out. It started raining on me in the middle of my car wash. So all that water drip down. Oh, look at all that. Okay, so here we are, engine bay, typical shot that you see on my channel. Um, but just to give you guys an update, so I was talking to Bader over the phone, and so check this out, the plans for the engine. Now, this hopefully this makes sense to you guys. So we are gonna be going with a closed deck block. Now, the only thing I have to do now is wire the money over so that we can get this block ordered. Now, my whole methodology for this whole build process was to have more engine than turbo. So this is gonna set up to grow further in the future. Now, one of the setbacks right now, do this whole virus thing right now is the whole process of getting stuff built such as the turbo right now the turbo is on delay due to the, due to the virus so in order to keep our time schedule we might have to settle for a turbo uh, a smaller turbo for now until we can get the turbo that we really want later on now that was something that i did not expect whatsoever we can get a whole engine built that's going to be built by Bader himself uh, but the turbo the turbo is going to be com coming from actually you know what i don't really want to say which turbo that that we're going with because we're still not sure uh, but is for right now it's going to be a stock location turbo until we can go rotate it and get the turbo that we want or what we can do we can keep bugging casey to sell his old 6266 which i don't know might be a need for repair we're not actually sure yet but hopefully um we can get that one in the future so right now this is going to be a progression where we go from little baby horsepower onto bigger horsepower later on so right now we're looking at about maybe four to five hundred wheel horse power easily so a closed deck block is easily going to be able to take 400 wheel horsepower now that block that we're going to get i don't know i, I forgot what bader said but we can easily get six seven hundred wheel horsepower out of that block so like i said room to grow so anything so the car is pretty much going to be set up for big horsepower if i want to go that route later on so hopefully that makes sense like i said it's totally not the typical thing that people do you know in the subaru world um, but this is just the way i want to do it so with all that said now that we're getting a new engine now the deciding factor is going to be do i go with built heads and cams now obviously if you guys have gone through the process you know head work and cams is very very expensive and only adds to the very expensive cost of adding a closed deck block so for you guys that who been through the process of heads and cams and doing all that uh, what do you guys think now talking to Bader now he was telling me that I will be full of regret if I don't upgrade the heads and cams while I'm getting a new engine so talking to Casey I know he went through a lot of you know ups and downs and the process of getting his heads and cams built so what do you guys think for those of you guys who've been through the process please drop down your opinions or whatever experiences you have down in the comments below all right guys, so check it out. We got Casey here. I'm trying to record the screen for you. Hopefully the audio is, is good for you guys, but Casey, say what up to everyone, man. Yo, what's up guys? <laughs> Casey's back. Like, All right, so just, business. so cool, man. So just so we don't make this video too long, man. So Casey, has, he's been through the same process that I'm going through right now. So the question is, Casey, should I go with heads and cams, dude? <laughs> I mean, what are you shooting for, like what, 400? Um, between four and seven hundred. Okay, so that's okay. Four and seven hundred. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I would say you should probably go with some heads and cams, Jay. <laughs> oh God, you guys are you and Bader are costing me money, man. <laughs> I mean, it's better to just upgrade them because I mean, technically, you can upgrade the ones you have right now. Yeah. And, and save the money instead of having to buy whole new heads if you want to do that. That is true, though. So you went with built heads already, right? No, so I actually was able to salvage my heads and got a discount because I used my old heads and just built those ones. Oh, gotcha. And the cams yeah. that you got? Uh, so the cams that I got were from my AG. They were the GSC S3 billet camshaft rated to 750 to 1,000. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about big power. All right, guys, yeah. so... What do you guys think? So Casey has spoken. He says I should just go ahead and stop being a little bitch. No, he didn't say that, but I know that's what he's thinking. I should just go ahead and just do it, man. Oh, man. So I already told the guys we're going with closed deck block. Um, yeah. Bader's going to build it. So might as well. If I'm going to have the if I'm going to have the engine out, might as well just do it. Fuck it. I mean, especially if you're pushing that high, those heads probably wouldn't go past. I wouldn't push those heads past 400, 500. All right, you guys. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Do I got the mic up out loud? All right, there you go. That should, that should be better. All right, Casey. 
Um, All right, man. You know what you gotta do. <laughs> I know you've been through this before. You know, by yeah. the way, if you guys haven't seen his channel, he made over 700 wheel horsepower on a Mustang dyno on his car. 700, guys. Yes. It's a beast. It's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Say bye to YouTube. Say bye to YouTube, Casey. All right. Later, guys. Okay, so there it is, build plans for the Subaru. Now, the only thing that we are undecided on is exactly which turbo we're gonna go with. Due to the, the pandemic that's going on, there are delays in manufacturing the top turbo that we are wanting to get. But in case we don't get the turbo we wanna get, there's always backup plans, no big deal. We might have to go smaller than we originally intended for. So with that said, once everything is done, set and tuned, we're gonna be going to the racetrack. That's right, boys. We're gonna be taking the car to the drag strip, the track, and also to the autocross. We're gonna do it all. Not only that, we're gonna take the car onto some road trips. That is for sure. So with that said, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel, the, the people who, who have been on board and helping me get the car put together. Really, really much appreciated. So more to come, lots to follow. Um, hopefully we can get all the parts here soon, sooner than later, because uh, I'm itching for this new horsepower. But like I said before, my whole goal my whole intent for this build was the foundation was having more motor than turbo so that we have room to grow in case we want a bigger turbo later on but anyways that is it thanks for watching i appreciate your guys support and we will talk to you guys later peace out guys Bitch,